Well, they call this young man from Kerry Nuggets NTG Super Gym the next big thing of Aussie Muay Thai. Here's the Superboy Soren Mongkongtong. What a great year and a half Soren Mongkongtong has had as he has risen to the top of the Australian Muay Thai rankings. And now he's trying to rise his bank account here tonight by $10,000. And he's going to take the first step against Clayton Collier in this final quarterfinal, the winner of which will go on to face Thailand's Super Chai in the second semi-final. Well, all is in readiness for the first of three rounds. It is our fourth quarterfinal of Super 8 here at the RNA Showgrounds in Brisbane. Michael Chevello ringside with the former Australian Muay Thai Cruiserweight champion, the Hamamar Castanini. And it's Clayton Collier in the purple and blue. And Superboy Soren Monkongton in the yellow and red. And here we are in the first round. And Hammer, what I'd like to know is... No, I won't like to know that because Travis Davies didn't qualify. And I was going to say, Kerry McNaughton might have ended up with two fighters in the final, but Soren Monkonton is his only charge left here tonight so, after Travis Davies losing to Ben Burton earlier on. Well, Soren in the uh, yellow shorts. Gumdale Demolition plastered across the rump. Gumdale Demolition, the Super 8 Gumdale Demolition, we are told, here tonight. And I'll tell you what, folks, you talk about flawless technique. You talk about excellence of execution and you talk about Soren Monkongton. Just have a look at the technique that this young man pieces together. And you talk about tough nuts and the kid Clayton Collier. He is one tough SOB on the comeback trail. Looks maybe a little bit heavier than Soren Monkongton here tonight. He is a lot shorter than Monkongton. Monkongton, very tall for this weight division, has those long ranging arms and legs. And those pinpoint knees. It's getting the grip. It's getting the grapple on nice and solid. Solidly, uh, Soren Monkonton locking up the uh, Collier. Collier lacks the experience, but uh, makes up for it in hard. And as you said, Michael Toughnuts. Toughnuts a big hello to Mario, the Toughnut Mad One. The key of madness. And uh, Mike Manzaris, another Toughnut. Big hello to those boys that are always supporting uh, the shows. Sorry, Mong Hong Tong launching a right knee to the midsection. I was at this very venue earlier this year and saw Sorry Mong Tong Tong connect with a knee to the midsection that was so precise and so hard that it slipped a disc in his opponent's back. And that was a sight to see. You really was like one of, mentioning that, don't you? It was one of the Shearing brothers from Tasmania, if my memory serves me correct, Hammer, and he slipped a disc in his back. Such was the power of the knee coming through the stomach. So when I say that a knee tries to push the belly button through the back of a fighter, I'm not far off. <laughs> Certainly Soren, he ties up that grapple nice and tightly. Levers the head well of uh, Collier. And that range, working his uh, punches and finishing off with a nice leg kick there at the end of that combo. Soren's opened up like a house on fire here in the first round. All over Clayton Collier. Collier, no answers so far. And look at the beautiful pinpoint technique on Soren Mongkongtong, folks. Again, Hammer, another contender for the Blitz Hall of Fame award this year, Soren Mongkongtong. Right hand there from Clayton Collier, goes for the inside thigh kick, and Monconton hasn't taken a step back so far in the first round. Snappy jab, knee to the rib cage. Collier forced to back up and work the perimeters of the ring. Monconton controlling the centre. Another outside thigh kick, and he's starting to redden the lead thigh of Clayton Collier. The kid Clayton Collier with his old warnable trainer Richard Walsh in his corner, also the undefeated Nathan Corbett. The man who at this very venue, of course, ended the career of Scotty Bannon, tonight's co-promoter, and there's him in the first round, Hammer. Well, certainly that one going all the way to the red corner. Monkotong just superior work rate, pinpoint accuracy with his punching, and then working the legs nice and tightly underneath. Thank you very much. But uh, Soren, that round, put it down for him. They have told Clayton Collier, you've got to come back in this round and take out the legs of Soren Monkongton and show him absolutely no respect as we get into the second stanza. Brian Murphy gets us underway. It was all Soren Monkongton in the first round and he looks like he's picking up where he left off here in the second. Just having a look at the, the, the corner of Soren in between rounds. Nugget gesturing for Soren just to keep walking forward, popping the knees uh, consecutively on the uh, walk-up. Interesting to see if he follows up on those comments. I think Clayton Collier may have a knee, uh, rib injury rather. Because uh, the comment that makes me believe that is when Richard Walsh said to him, don't worry about the rib. So that could be uh, that uh, he has come into this fight with maybe some sort of an injury around his rib cage. 
Interesting to note, sorry, Mong Tong Tom choosing to stand between rounds. Clayton Collier taking a seat and getting some icing on that lead thigh that has already been damaged by the leg kicks of Soren Mong Kong Ton. And there's a cracker to the right rib cage from Mong Kong Ton. Well, Inside thigh Michael, kick from Collier Hammer. Sometimes Michael fighters opt to stand up because it allows for your breathing to uh, to occur a lot more naturally. Obviously, if you're sitting down in a crouching position and you're a bit puffed, it's a little bit hard to, to suck the air in. If you're standing in an upright position, all your uh, windpipe and everything are opened up, you can breathe it in. Some fighters opt for that. Others say, well, you're better off sitting and having a bit of a rest. Uh, and resting your legs, taking the weight off your legs. So that really is purely a preference, an individual preference. Comments from the Hammer, Mark Castanini, ringside with myself, Michael Chavello. We're coming at you from the RNA Showgrounds in Brisbane, and it's the fourth quarter final of the Gumdale Demolition Super 8, brought to you by SB Promotions. A tagging right hand there from Soren Mongong Ton. Frustration in centre ring from Clayton Collier. High left round kick from Mongong Ton. And again, methodically, systematically picking apart the kid. Oh, nice tagging right hand there from Mong Kong Tom. Then the rib shot. Collier trying to power through the guard. Soren smiles at him, says, come on, kid, what have you got for me? But you don't want to offer Clayton Collier any free shots, that's for sure. Digs it in down to the bread basket as Collier off the left hand, then walks into a jab. Popping out that jab again, Soren Mong Kong Tom. Where's the leg kick to the lead thigh? A little bit better here now from Clayton Collier, starting to mix it up. That step up knee working well for, uh, for Soren. He lines up with the jab. He's got a nice, crisp, long jab. He just needs to maybe follow up a little bit more with uh, the overhand right or a straight right afterwards. But he's nailing uh, Collier consecutively with the jab. Nice long hands, nice long arms from uh, Soren. He really is perfection of technique, Soren Mong Kong Tom. But can Clayton Collier find a chink in the armor of the local fighter from Nuggets Gym? Right hand to the side of the head on the ear. One to the chin, then an inside thigh kick from Soren Mong Kong Tong. Tags him on the nose with the left hand. That probing jab working a real treat for him so far. Leg kick there from Mong Kong Tong. Ties him up, works the knee. Got him on top of the shoulder, then Mong Kong Tong. Not going for a lot of grappling in this round, Hammer. More of a kickboxing contest. Well, certainly uh, Soren is not tying Collier up too much. He has the reach and the range, but he's preferring rather to just keep scoring nice and cleanly. Tagging right hand on the jaw there from Clayton Collier. One, two, then downstairs from Soren Mong Kong Ton. End of the second round. That one obviously going the way of the red corner once again. Soren looked very, very uh, comfortable on the scorecards at this point. Big breath, big breath. Once again, Collier going low, Soren going high. And Soren, just with those extendable arms of his, Michael, just seems to be landing those punches at will. The jab is one that he's having, he's having a lot of success with. High round kick just glancing off the side of the head of Collier. Collier stalking forward again. But every time he tries to get in, the very quick technique of, uh, of Soren is catching him, whether it be a round kick, a front kick, or that very lightning fast jab he's got. He just pops it out, just probing, probing. Collier got double forearm guarding, taking his vision. And that is basically just allowing uh, Soren to uh, pepper down low after he's uh, finished the handiwork up high. Let's go, seconds out. The Murph calls both men to the centre ring. The third and final round of action. They touch gloves and it's so far it's been Soren Mong Kong Tong for our lighting. Picking apart Clayton Collier and again picking up where he left off in the previous round with those round kicks to the rib cage. Collier trying to go downstairs, work away the lead thigh. Digs away to the rib cage, then a thigh kick. Nice combination from the kid Clayton Collier. Gets tagged with a straight right hand leg kick combination. High left round kick from Soren Mong Kong Tong. And almost caught him on the way down with a decapitating round kick. More good stuff in centre ring here from Soren Mong Kong Tong. Defensive front kick there from Collier. Step up jab, almost a hook there from Collier. Knee to the side of the head from Mong Kong Tong. Long ranging right hand leg kick from Collier, then loses his footing in centre ring. Oh, what a front kick, a taste of foot there for Clayton Collier. Soren Mong Kong Tong Hammer really using his reach to his advantage. It's very crisp, Michael. He's not uh, not standing there trading those big blows. He's rather opting for uh, just peppering down and uh, racking up the scores. Collier short, a bit of trouble techniques. bridging the gap. Collier can't seem to get in close enough to work his hands into the body of Soren Mong Kong Tong. Mong Kong Tong picking him off as he comes in with long-ranging techniques like those. The leg kick to the lead thigh. Right hand from Mong Kong Tong. Collier goes downstairs, then backs up a couple of paces. Almost elasticized that lead hand of Soren Mong Kong Tong. 
and you saw there the right hand of Clayton Collier just couldn't find the target, just fell short by a few centimetres. Nice right hand to the side of the jaw there from Mong Kong Tong. Collier tried for a leaping left hook, didn't connect for him. Inside thigh kick from Collier. Mong Kong Tong working that step up knee again off the left leg. Being one of his preferred weapons throughout the entire fight, Hammer. And the inside thigh kick. Tell you what, Michael, uh, barring uh, Collier taking Mong Kong Tong out with uh, a knockout blow, it's safe to uh, assume that he will progress through and meet up and uh, match up against Super Chai. Wow, what that a, is going to be a corker. Oh, what a marquee matchup that one will be. And I'll tell you what, Hammer, by the looks of things, Soren Mong Kong Tong relatively fresh midway through the third round. He's, he's preserving his uh, energy well. He's not getting into any low blow, as in with the uh, big swing oh, leg kick training. Nice combination from Soren Mong Kong Tong. Head just jerking back of Clayton Collier and again getting tagged on the nose, right on the bridge of the nose. Smack bang, the bullseye between the eyes. Tries to tag Mong Kong Tong with the right hand, didn't work for him. And Collier walking into that jab again. Well, Collier's just holding his guard too low. He needs to be propping that rear hand up on his jawline just to negate the jab and then work over the top of it. But uh, Soren just working that jab crisply, cleanly. Leg kicks down below, he's setting him up well. He's not kicking at too much shin. He's working the thigh. And uh, he's just doing uh, a very, very good tradesman-style job on Collier at this point. And it's great to see the improved handiwork and a lot of the Muay Thai guys here tonight, Hamble. We saw her on Ben Pixie Burton in the first quarter final. And again here, Soren Mong Kong Tong's beautiful jab the boxing and right cross skills, working a treat for him. The boxing skills are improving out of sight on these Thai fighters. And uh, on my scorecard, I'd have to say that uh, Soren will progress through into the semi-finals. And what a great matchup that one was. Fighting Collier, he'll benefit from the experience of fighting uh, the much more ex experienced Soren Mong Kong Tong. Clayton Collier, a very tough, resilient opponent. But uh, for my money, red corner progressing through. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we go to the judges' scorecard with the unanimous points victor, Soren Mong Kong Tong. Well, there was never any doubt about it, folks. And now our two semi-finals are set.